hi and welcome to this video i'll be showing you two methods on how to recreate glasmorphism effect here in figma glasmorphism offers a very beautiful and minimalistic look to your design the main reason why it is being used is to establish a visual hierarchy and depth of the interface it's been incorporated in the design style of some companies such as microsoft which use it in its windows 11 design and in some websites such as this even though glasmorphism became popular in 2020 2021 it has been around since 2013 when apple ios 7 used the background blur so the the main purpose of designing a user interface with this design is to make a balance between three elements which are background blur shadow and transparency to achieve this effect, you will need a very colorful background, just like the one I have here on my screen in Figma. So for the first method, which involves manual adjustments of the transparency, background blur and shadows. First of all, you choose a shape of your choice. In my case, I'll choose a rectangle. And let me give it small curve over here of 20. Now I'll change the color to white. Change it from solid to linear from that drop down menu and adjust the direction of the light that bounces of on and off this rectangle okay I will adjust the transparency a little okay so next I will select the stroke and put it as a white color also click the drop down menu and select linear and adjust the direction of the lights that falls on the stroke okay this looks good enough then next we will add some effects and background blur so that it will Blow the background a little bit. Maybe I'll set it to five. And this looks great. Add another effect. Drop shadow. Yeah, reduce it to about 15 <coughs> and you could see already we have a glasmorphism effect when we move it around this colored object you could see it blows it gives you that glassy look when you move this object around so that's about it for the manual method then for the second method which involves the use of a plugin called morph <coughs> i duplicated my screen so you go on that plugin go to community browsing community and search for morph Check on that plugins and this plugin right here I already have it installed that is the plugin we'll be using to recreate this glass morphism effect so select the shape of our choice and draw let me also give it some rounded edge now you right click on your shape select plugins and select the morph now 
you could use this mob plugin to do some other effects not only glassy effects you could do neon effects glitch reflect and gradients but for the purpose of this video we'll be dealing with the glassy effect so when we click on glassy we we'll wait for it to come up and automatically it creates an identical of that shape we selected in the glamorphic face so we'll delete that our original image and bring in that the image created by morph so from this menu you could see we could adjust a lot of things the level of blurriness and the opacity to our choice we could adjust them to any level we want we could also adjust the edge surface and apply this to the image you could see we have gotten a class morphic effect it gives us that blurry blurry effect when we move around with the object so if you love this video and we want to see more tutorial please subscribe to the channel like this video and share see you in our next video